Chastisement has the Lord chastened me. The Lord is my strength and my song. Wisdom. A reading from St. Paul's Epistle to the Corinthians. Wisdom, let us again. Brethren, food will not bring us closer to God. For neither if we eat are we the better, nor if we do not eat are we the worse. But take heed, lest by any means this authority of yours becomes a stumbling block to those who are weak. For any, if anyone sees you as someone who has knowledge, reclining at a table in an idol's temple, will not the conscience of the one who is weak be emboldened to eat of the things sacrificed to idols? And through your knowledge the weak brother perishes, for whom Christ died. And thus, sinning against the brethren and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to stumble, I will not eat meat forever, lest I cause my brother to stumble. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are not you my work in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, yet at least I am to you. For the seal of my apostleship are you in the Lord. Peace be to thee that read it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. O Lord, save the King and hearken unto us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep in his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the Lord will say to those on his right hand, Come, O blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will say to him, Lord, when did we see thee hungry and feed thee, or thirsty and give thee drink? When did we see thee a stranger and welcome thee, or naked and clothe thee? When did we see thee sick or in prison and visit thee? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. And then he will say to those in his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, you did not visit me. And they will also answer, Lord, when did we see thee? Uh, truly, uh, when did we see thee? hungry or thirsty or a stranger, or naked or sick or in prison, and did not minister thee. And then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to the one of the least of these, uh, you did it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. I glory to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Um, right before this parable, uh, there is the parable of the virgins. 
some of whom did not have uh, adequate oil in their lamps and so could not be present at the bridal feast. And that was a message about uh, our Lord coming suddenly in the second coming and also about our deaths occurring suddenly and us being not prepared. And the next one was a parable of the talents uh, and us being held accountable for what we do with the gifts God has given us. And then comes this um, magnificent parable about the last judgment uh, when Jesus will sit in judgment over us with the Father and the angels present, all the nations gathered out and he will separate us, the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. And uh, this uh, parable is often, very often, is misinterpreted uh, where preachers and priests uh, thump people about building up credits by doing good deeds so that it, we should intentionally do good deeds so we can build up credits in heaven. And they miss the whole point. And the whole point is very simple. When the sheep said to our Lord, when did we uh, when did we give thee food? When did we give thee drink? When did we clothe thee? When did we visit thee uh, and take care of thee? And they unconsciously did those things because their hearts had been transformed. And this parable is about the transformed hearts. And the idea is that we are going to live for eternity, eon upon eon upon even, in the presence of God, who is uh, overwhelming love. And if our hearts have not been transformed into loving hearts where we cannot pass somebody in need, whether it's the clerk at the pharmacy counter that you can tell is struggling and sad, or whether it's uh, the garbage man who's having a hard time. And uh, if we don't have a heart that is tuned in to the other person, and ministers to them with whatever we have to give, even if it's a kind word. Uh, that's, what this, that's what this parable is all about. It's about our hearts being transformed by the love of God into loving and giving hearts so that we automatically and unconsciously tune in to the people around us and their needs and give to them. And that's the whole point of when did we do it that the sheep say and the goats say. And... Uh, and so what, it's, what it is, is an invitation not to intentionally do good deeds to earn points, but what it's about is us attending to our relationship to God to allow Him to transform our hearts so that we cannot pass by somebody in need without tuning into them and ministering to them. And that has to do with attending the services of the church, uh, receiving the very body and the life of God, the body and blood of Christ. That has to do with our prayer rule where we stand in the presence of God morning and night. And that has to do with being tuned into God all day long. So our whole day is about God, uh, not about ourselves, uh, not about things of the world, but about God. And it is that process that allows God to transform our hearts so that we have the loving hearts that make us the sheep who automatically minister to people because our heart is loving and we tune in not to ourselves but to the other person. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit now endeavor into ages of ages. Amen.